the tutorials and I even had a post-it note on my computer screen to remind me was tab indexes. So you can change the order in which the user presses tab and it targets certain controls. Without tab index, it goes in the order of your code. So this example does not have any tab indexes and if I press tab on the keyboard, it goes to the first control, the second control, the third control, and the fourth control. But in this form, I have changed the tab indexes. When I first get to the page and press tab, it goes to email, then it goes to name, then it goes to submit, and then it goes to comments. Now, realistically, you would not want your tab indexes to go in this order, um, but I did this for the sake of showing you how this can be done. So if you want to change the tab index order, you just add an attribute called tab index and start with one with the one that you first want to be targeted, two for the second, three for the third, and four for the fourth, so on and so forth. So you can see email, if I reload, email is first because I did tab index one, name is second because I did tab index two, submit is three because I did tab index three, and comments is four because I did tab index four. Okay, so that's tab indexes.